Following its major overhauls of the 2024 Acadia and 2025 Terrain SUVs, GMC is finally ready to show off the refreshed version of its full-size sport utility vehicle. The 2025 GMC Yukon lineup arrives with a fresh new face, a condensed option sheet, and even more tech features aimed at easing the experience from behind the wheel. The 2025 GMC Yukon lineup looks a little bit different than last year's order sheet. Following suit with the brand's other SUVs, the Yukon SLE and SLT trims have been eliminated. A new elevation trim sits as the entry point, combining features from the two previous base models. GMC has also added a new offering at the top of the lineup with the Yukon at 4 Ultimate, which takes the off-road hardware from the popular at 4 and combines it with some of the top-level luxury features previously found exclusively on the range-topping Denali Ultimate models, such as massaging front seats, extended leather trim throughout the cabin, and genuine wood grain accents. Every 2025 GMC Yukon model also receives reworked styling elements, including trim-specific grills and new fascias up front. Lighting elements are new at both ends, and the bumpers are also new, accented by squared-off exhausts out back. Wheel sizes range from 20 to 24 inches, depending on the trim, but the largest rollers are tied exclusively to the optional adaptive suspension setups. The trucks retain a more subdued appearance than their Cadillac-branded Escalade siblings, but are equally bold in presence. The interior of the entire GMC Yukon lineup is elevated with this refresh, centered largely around the new 16.8-inch screen of the infotainment system. This setup runs on Android automotive software, backed by the brand's voice control system and native Google Maps. Denali Ultimate customers also benefit from large 8.0-inch rear screens, as well as an optional second-row executive seating package that brings niceties such as heated, ventilated and massaging seats and in-headrest speakers to the second-row passengers. Other highlights include a Yukon First Night Vision Thermal Imaging System, which can detect and display various objects in low-light situations via the digital gauge cluster. General Motors's excellent Super Cruise semi-automated driving aid also returns to the options list. The powertrain lineup isn't as different for 2025. The venerable 5.3-liter V8 returns as the entry-level offering, and output remains unchanged at 355 horsepower and 383 lbft. The 6.2-liter V8 returns as an option, still providing 420 horsepower and 460 lbft. However, where Cadillac killed off the 3.0-liter Duramax in its full-size SUV, GMC has updated the powertrain for its customers in 2025. The engine now provides 305 horsepower and 385 lbft, borrowing the same upgrades as given to the Sierra 1500's mill. It's a worthwhile upgrade for the 10% or so of customers who opt for the motor every year. GMC hasn't shared any pricing information related to the new Yukon lineup quite yet, but expect that to arrive before the trucks go on sale in the fourth quarter of 2024. If you enjoyed this review, be sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel for more exciting car reviews.